Malphite going to be the first man. Looking, yep, same same one's game one, same first man. Yeah, and I'm starting to wonder. I think the last pick is um, has always been the key. It's you know a really strong kind of counter pick, but we're starting to see people uh, picking off the. Uh, top lane champions a little bit earlier, like in the second and third pick, particularly champions like Malphite. So I think a lot of times people want to see, want that second, third pick combo. The fact that, all right, if we leave a number of champions open where we're comfortable with taking two of them, we allow the other team to first pick one of them, we get the next two that we consider OP. So, you know, that's something we're seeing more and more, particularly as we see champ, champs like Malphite leaving the banning phase. He is banned, so it's not a really an issue this game, but um, there's a lot of possibilities for them. Yep. And uh, Olaf, once again, going to be banned out by MTW. Targeted ban straight at Nintendo. They do not want him in the jungle with Olaf. That is his signature. Now I'm just wondering, did Shen and Karthus were the other two bans for Dynamic Game 1? Uh, I'm not... I, you know, I'm actually not so sure if uh, Cassiopeia... Well, Cassiopeia may be a ban consider consideration. Yeah, I mean, Cassiopeia is a very strong all-around champion. Actually, banning out Nocturne, Ooh. so... Uh, there are a number of champions who do well against Cassiopeia, but Cassiopeia can control fights uh, very well. Yep. So we'll see. I, I think there's going to oh, be a first pick nope. Soraka here, because Soraka is open. Granted, Urgot is uh, yep. also banned out, so Dynamic, Dynamic and MTW kind of did uh, self bans for themselves, you know, for, uh, going over last game. But Soraka is open. Karthus is open. Uh, I think yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the difference from last game. So. Yeah, I think Sorak, I mean, if Soraka is not first picked by MTW, I think pretty sure Dynamics is going to grab her up really quick. But uh, going to go with the Nunu once again, it seems. So I think they, I think uh, MTW might just do Nunu Vane again, bot lane. Yeah, that would be very strong. Soraka would make a lot of sense. They could go with Eteric as well. Um, that would be a very strong uh, lane. But I, I, I think you're right. The Soraka makes sense. Uh, Corky or a Graves w would work a little bit here. The issue with Graves is that he's a little bit more auto attack centric, so having the attack speed slow from Nunu can shut him down a little bit more, but he is one of those common champions that Zig will play. Uh, I think Corky kind of makes a little bit more sense because he's a little bit, or Ezreal as well, oh, yeah. because they're, they're a little bit more skill based. Um, you know, they have just great burst damage, so they don't really have to worry about that attack speed slow as much. So I'm still considering what dynamic is going to pick up here. Like you mentioned before, you know, this rocket is still open. Uh, I'll try to think what else is still uh, open here. Uh, also, going to think about other junglers because I don't think Mundo really worked for dynamic all too much in game one. There you go. Blitz. <laughs> Blitz Graves. Bot lane. That could be pretty devastating. Yeah, it's a really aggressive combo. The concern is whether or not you have enough follow-up damage through Nuno. Uh, that you don't just, you know, you pull him in, you, you get some quick damage, that he doesn't just snowball you and run away, which is a concern. However, if they get a pull on Ezreal, they could burst him down real quick, really quick, uh, quickly, quickly win that lane. Um, a pull on Nunu would be fine as well, probably, because if they, you know, get off that quick burst damage, Nunu's going to have to play a little bit defensively. Um, is there a possibility here? You know, MTW, they pick up uh, Ezreal and Lee Sin. Uh, do you think you might actually expect Lee Sin top lane Nunu in the jungle and maybe like switch up be like you know fourth or fifth pick Soraka? Yeah, that that is a potential. Um, I don't. We'll have to see. Not a lot of people are jungling Nunu yet. He's still kind of a mystery to a lot of people. So that is kind of a threat. But he makes a lot of sense as a uh, bot lane. I, I think part of the issue, they, they could do that. I mean, Soraka Ezreal is a very common lane matchup. As, uh, Soraka is a little bit vulnerable to Blitzcrank, but you sit back, play really defensively, and then uh, Ezreal is the only one who's in a uh, situation where he could get pulled. And Ezreal, he can Arcane Shift out of there. It's not really that big of a deal. So it would be a very safe lane. The, here's the issue, though. If they go with that Soraka uh, for support and then send Nunu into the jungle, they are going to be really low on damage, coupled with Lee Sin. They're going to have some nice single target burst damage. They're going to be generally pretty tanky, but they won't have have, um, you know, quite enough damage to take down Dynamic, I wouldn't think. It would be very difficult for them. Yep. Dynamic, on the other hand, they pick up a uh, Evelyn, so I'm not sure what that pick is going to be. Cassiopeia, you know, would uh, work. They play a lot of Cassiopeia themselves, so they might have picked her out uh, to prevent them from getting them. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. That is kind of a common pick in um, Dynamic's roster. Let's see, what is it? We're going to find out in just a second. Oriana. Is Oriana. Nice. Or he did get uh, did get tweaked recently, so I think that could work actually really well here. Yeah, but as a result, 
a huge AOE comp for MTW, and they have Cassiopeia, they have Rumble, and then Nunu for the support, so that Cassiopeia and Rumble are both going to be very safe. Rumble, his biggest issue is that he's not a frontline champion. He's a melee and he's big, so you're thinking, you know, tank, but he's he's really squishy, so he needs to kind of sit in the background um, to get his damage off, but Nunu, he can control the frontline single-handedly, so Nunu and Lee Sin, actually, uh, the two of them can do very well. Lee Sin can shield Nunu to protect him a little bit, um, so that's actually a really nice matchup. Then they have so much AOE, and then Ezreal for the clearing potential can win those, uh, you know, small skirmishes once everyone's basically dead. However, you know, Blitzcrank does very well singling out someone from a fight. Uh, Riven, if she manages to get in the middle of a whole bunch of uh, chaotic mess, you have a very good AOE stun. Uh, Oriana also does uh, really well for fight control as well. Just throw down that orb. You have the shockwave, just keeps everyone still. So, and I like that last pick i really like that last pick fiora if everyone's gonna be you know clumped up looking for that aoe how do you avoid aoe how well fiora ult's a pretty good way to get out of it oh last second switch to the nidalee yeah, very few people play uh fiora competitively darian's the only one that comes to mind uh he is an interesting pick we'll see what they end up picking um it seems like nidalee but the they hadn't locked in and the timer was still running so there's still potential where they could maybe have swapped that up um so we'll have to see what en that ends up being nidalee zion spartan has played a lot of Nid uh, ad nidalee in the in the past and nidalee does very well against rumble nidalee completely shuts down rumble in lane so mm. nidalee has that potential uh, we will have to see how that works the issue is that later in the game their team fighting potential would be very weak with the nidalee so that's that's kind of a concern fiora would be a similar thing where fiora is expecting to do very well in lane and then later maybe struggle a little bit in team fights mm. so we'll, we'll have to see if they're trying to snowball their lanes that way it is going to be the nidalee top lane ad and we'll take a look at the room page in just a little bit too but uh there we go so Teams are established, and these, of course, are not uh, the actual bans. We'll review those in a second here. Dynamic banning out Alistar, Shen, and Urgot. MTW banning out Malphite, Olaf, and Nocturne. So, yeah. Yeah, and they get yeah. the Riven pick for Nintendo. That's another uh, common jungler of his. Yeah. And it actually works very well against Rumble. So the, the times that you pick Riven as a jungler, um, you know, you have the really quick aggressive ganks, so people who are very weak in lane in the early couple of levels who tend to have mobility. Rumble's one of those people. He's very weak in the first couple of levels, but he has decent mobility. He can usually survive ganks, but because Riven has just so much uh, mobility, she can just, you know, run all down the lane. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, she can very easily catch up to him, you know, get the disables off, take him down very quickly. So we'll see how that's going to work. It could be very scary, though. We've seen in the past Nintendo starting off with the Dorans and then having the uh, level 2 gank, yes. and it's just absolutely <laughs> brutal. Le um, level, two, level 2 gank at enemy wraiths and then right. coming in from behind is like oh man i totally didn't think you're even going to be there That's, that can be extremely extremely devastating but uh hopefully hopefully you can go ahead and get that kill yeah hopefully. both both cassiopeia and rumble are very vulnerable in the first couple of levels so um you know that's that's kind of an interesting prospect so i don't gonna have to find out and you know rumble you, we've talked about this before he does struggle the first few levels um you know, Nidalee going to be in top lane against him. So, Israel Nunu, going to be a pretty nice combo there as well. All that attack speed, all that movement speed. You know, plus he can... Israel's really good at repositioning himself, too. And he does naturally have the shift in his skill set. Um, Nunu or Ezreal... Even then, this thing, like, Blitzcrank grab, that is a lot of CC. That could be actually a fair amount of damage. Ezreal does have, like, one quick escape option. But uh, then again, any support... if. Any support that gets grabbed by a Blitzcrank bot lane pretty much spells doom. Yeah, I mean, Nunu is tanky enough that it's probably not that much of a concern, so we'll, we'll have to see how that, how that kind of works out. I think the issue is they'll, they'll burst him down to about half health. He's um, tanky enough that it won't be much more than that, yeah. and then he's going to just snowball, run out of there, and Ezreal could maybe follow it up and you know maybe pick up a kill or something. We'll have to see. It's a really nice lane combo. Uh, right now, Dynamic... They're looking to just kind of control their lanes and, you know, allow Nintendo to get to work. So top lane in particular, 
Nidalee, if Nidalee gets off to a good start, Nidalee can just absolutely crush Rumble. And if you guys remember at IPL4, Zion Spartan with the AD Nidalee versus Vladimir, it was against uh, Pobelter Top, I believe. And they just absolutely walked all over Curse. Uh, Zion Spartan, he was able to you know harass Vladimir down a little bit early in the game and then just constantly diving him. And Rumble is kind of a similar character. Rumble, he doesn't have the pull to get out of there, but he is very weak early. He's susceptible to harass, and he's, mm -hmm. you know, not very tanky. So we'll, we'll see how that kind of works. He does have the damage himself, where if he gets a gank, then he can take down Nidalee very easily. Um, but it's it's going to be kind of interesting. And Oriana, always an interesting pick. She has been buffed recently, but I, I still, I'm not really sure where the Oriana fits into this matchup, other than the fact that Oriana is very strong in lane and, you know, won't allow Cassiopeia to bully herself around. I think it's just there more for uh, just to keep just to keep MTW disorganized because that is a lot of AOE damage. Yeah, and they're more than likely. I mean, this is also a lot of course quarters damage too because Ezreal, and he'll naturally shift in trying to get some damage. Lisa in melee range, Rumble melee range. He needs to get real close. Cassiopeia, the ult range is pretty slow, and Muffin Q is going to be in the middle of these fights anyway uh, for for the ult if need be. So I can see MTW actually getting pretty clumped up, actually. That that ult can be and really devastating. I think the thing to consider also is the shield on Nintendo. Yes. Um, I think the big thing is that, paradoxical, the, the thought is to keep Nintendo alive through the early part of the fight, quickly make the fight a disorganized fight. And Riven thrives from uh, that kind of disorganization, mm -hmm. that kind of chaos. That's what Riven, you know, that's where she's best at. She can 1v1 almost anyone in the game and come out on top. So if Riven can get off to a nice lead and then Orianna, you know, has those disables to help her. Um, and what's going to happen is MTW is going to be sitting there going like, uh, do we focus down Riven? It's going to make us all clump around her where we're going to get alted. You know, if we try and focus down Riven, that's going to be a serious issue. So maybe they sit back a little bit and it allows Riven an opening to just run right into their back line, shut down uh, some of their carries. You know, and also on the other side, you do have Lee Sin. You know, one of the things he really does excel at, you know, he's very mobile. He can go ahead, he can get those quick kills in lane if necessary. Those ganks can be absolutely devastating. But if he doesn't get those kills, if he doesn't get those early advantages, he could have a tendency to fall off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to see, though. Um, I don't know, it's, it's going to be kind of scary for me to see, you know, how this game progresses because both teams, they have so much damage. Riven is going to be walking right into a death trap, basically, in team fights uh, with, you know, Nunu, Cassiopeia, and Rumble. Uh, that's just, you know, it's it's a ton of upfront damage, a ton of upfront CC that he's going to have to worry about. Um, you know, so it's, it, it is going to be kind of scary as the game gets oh. further and further into late game for Dynamic. And there you go, Nintendo starting out with the Dorn's Blade, yep. looking for that extra health, that extra damage. So that could be... And the Q. So and he's, the Q. he's doing... I mean, Q's a standard start for Riven. Yeah. But regardless, he's going to be doing that really aggressive level 2 gank. And both Cassiopeia and Rumble, again, are prime targets the yep. entire game. But the thing is, though, you also see the boots being picked up onto Blitzcrank. So that's a, a pretty good indicator of a quick gank as w for a level 1 fight as well. So he's going to be... Uh, He's, he's, he's getting, well, after he gets to, to the rest well, of the that's, team. That's part of the nice thing with the boost is not just chasing <laughs> someone down, but also being able to drop a ward and get over to your team right. without taking a full minute. Right, so he's actually going to be able to get back just in time to rejoin with everyone. And, yeah, this is, this is definitely going to be an interesting level one if it does indeed happen. And also, not to mention Oriana, that orb in the right spot, you know, nice little, like, ward in an instant. That thing does give vision. Right there, you can see, like, right there in the bush. So, yeah, digging this. Right now, if MTW wants to go ahead and get in on this level one, if they're going to be in, you know, getting in, also not to mention, Nidalee traps mm -hmm. abound also in the jungle. Both of those bushes, MTW will not be getting anywhere near top, uh, <laughs> getting anywhere near Dynamics Red. If, and if they do, it could hurt. It could hurt quite a bit. But, you know, minions are yeah, just about to spawn. What that could mean is that Riven's trying to go top, so they prevent Lee Sin from starting at the blue. He doesn't really have an opportunity to counter um, out Nintendo in these early levels, so they actually oh. are going to go for the blue instead of the red. Wow. Wow, okay. So Nintendo with the rest of the team, they're tr traveling on in. Holy, it's Don. There we go. Nice pull over the wall, keeping it still. Can they take it quick enough before it resets? Should be fine. There you go. And they're not going to be using a... Not going to be using the smite either. Actually, just going to hold on to it. But now it's just a matter of where's Cassiopeia. And just now, getting into lane. Blue being pinged. 
by MTW. I think they know something's up. Everyone's a little bit delayed getting into lane. But uh, Riven will not be going in for oh, the level but two game. Lee Sin is setting up in that bottom lane, so Graves has to play really defensively for a yeah. second when Blitzcrank gets back. Uh, he should be okay. Riven can make um, his way top, can try and gank that rumble, but he's got to watch out here. So Ziggs playing really defensively. He knows it's still a 2v1, so as yeah. a result, he is safe. But Lee Sin, he, if uh, he's going to capitalize on this, he needs... Oh, no, no. He he's walking to too far kill. forward. Zig, a little bit too far. Pixel is here, though. He makes something happen, does flash away. Slow, going down onto Pixel. The grab, not getting anything. But the thing is, though, yes, they did force pick, uh, Dynamic out of lane, but Lee Sin did not get his kill. There's a lot of time he put down. He dedicated here to, to bot lane, and now Nintendo is also securing their own blue. So Riven's going to be pretty far ahead, the, long, the more ahead, the longer Leeson stays on here. He wants this kill. He is committed. There's a flash coming from Pixel. Still so low, but no kills yet. Yeah, but even so, Ezreal and Nunu have a dueling advantage. Lee Sin actually walking right into Riven, throws off the Q, will chase her down, gets off the slow. No, just barely can't. So Nintendo gets the stun and then gets out of there. Oh. But as a result, they are stealing the blue buff. And bot lane, both flashes are down, and they are too low to fight this. Yeah, but the thing is, though, you got Orianna coming down as well. Nintendo is here to try and fight this. Smite is about to come back up, but no. And Line does secure it. So both junglers have to double off. Flash over from Muffin Cutie. And quick kill onto the Blitzcrank. Still hiding out in the tri brush. Paradoxical is here, though. The attack on the orb. Wow, that thing traveled forever to try and get that bush. Yeah, and that's why you don't try and engage when you're low HP. So Lee Sin, the quick gank's bottom, really successful, then able to pull it out into a kill because uh, Blitzcrank trying to defend there, not quite oh, able to make Lee it happen. Lee Sin is still a little bit low, though. Nice juke from Nintendo, but I think just going to go ahead and let Lee Sin go on that one. Yeah. And so far, Rumble, he's starting to get to that point where he has enough damage. Zion Spartan out of mana right now. Won't be an issue later, but the oh, silence, the he actually gets the ignite as well. Lots of damage. Science Spartan needs to watch out just for a second there to heal, just to keep him topped off there. But wow, that's a lot of damage. Rumble is now four. He is a threat. Yeah, the, I mean, the damage output for Rumble is fantastic. But uh, now that Zion Spartan goes back, he's going to be able to get some items. As he gets more and more levels, the mana won't be as much of an issue. It, it is kind of an issue for Nidalee, but um, he'll be able to you know start throwing off a little bit more harass. It's, the issue is when he gets a little bit low mana and can't trade as easily. But uh, still, he does have to watch out for that damage output from Rumble. And you know, speaking of mana, though, you do have Cassiopeia, you do have Mandatory Cloud here in mid. Actually, been using a lot of those abilities to try and get some harass, to try and get some farm. Paradox will actually looking pretty healthy in mid so far. 20 creeps, 26 creeps. Cassiopeia does have the farm advantage for now, though. Yeah, so we'll see how that's going to kind of work. But um, Ezreal, in the meantime, nice advantage in the bottom lane. He can kind of bully around Graves a little bit, potentially, uh, considering he has the Nunu as well. They don't want to be, get hooked, but with the early advantage, you know, they can definitely um, parlay that into a CS advantage as well. Muffin Cutie getting the quick snowball down onto Zig just for a little bit of harassing as your balls. There you go. There's the pop-up post-shift. Manages to actually still get that. The uh, smoke screen does not get him inside. And uh, Oriana now, Paradoxal in mid, just looking, still looking to farm, being pressed in, the wave now pushing to her tower. And uh, Mandatory Cloud is going to have to go ahead and back. How much How much gold has he got? He's got a little bit over a thousand. Could buy a... Could actually start stacking Doran's rings. There you go. There's one, there's two, and a ward topping off on potions also. Yeah, and Lee Sin moving up into the top lane. Nidalee, uh, I... Not sure if she saw him or not. I think it was it a ward or that, a trap. That is a trap. It is a trap. That's what I thought. So she has it. no idea right now. Yeah, she's not. And you know, the traps, you know, does not grant vision unless someone walks over it. You know, it does work a little bit differently from a ward. But uh, I think there is a little bit of vision when she places it. Or is that? No, that's Caitlyn's. That's, that's Caitlyn's trap. Yeah, a, a little bit, but it's yeah. no, it doesn't give any actually. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's but it, it, it doesn't even matter. Um, you know, it's such a small radius, even if it is. Yeah. So she doesn't see him, but she will play defensively enough where she probably doesn't need to be concerned about Lee Sin. The lane is pushing now, though, so she kind of steps out a little bit, tries to get some harass down. And just uh, even, that could be an issue. And even then, like one more creep, and uh, she's gonna be sick. She's gonna be able to uh, go into cougar form. And it's going to be a little bit uh, easier to escape out of these ganks. There you go. Transform, leaping away. And there's Nintendo with the dash in. And there you go. Turning around, trying to make something happen. And now Rumble and Lee will to retreat back to tower. Because, yep, Nintendo's here to help. And uh, you got a cougar in your hands as well. Yeah, so Nintendo, uh, not quite, you know, successful um, in the, any of these early ganks. Not really. Uh, 
trying that much right now to get any early ganks off. He's primarily sitting back and farming, trying to get a couple of uh, levels, get some early damage. I'm not sure what he's waiting for, so he hasn't gone back to base yet, um, which is kind of interesting. No, he must have gone back. So he, he has gone back to base, but he didn't buy anything. Um, I don't know. It's kind of unusual. I'm, I'm curious what he's saving up for. There you go. Second Dorans, and you got boots. So he's looking to stack those Dorans blades, wards, potions, all that good stuff to stick around. You know, and... Uh, yeah, going to be going back, heading back to continue the farm. And actually he has a nice little level lead on Lee Sin as well. That grab from Pixel only going to be getting a minion onto that one. And uh, now Lee Sin just looking back, looking to farm. The red has respawned. He's going to grab that. Red has also respawned on Dynamic side as well, so Nintendo should be grabbing that soon as well. But Blue's also, actually about to uh, respawn. So, also, yeah. Blue, um, Blue should be coming back in a second. I think it's actually it's probably nine minutes. So they left they left one of the mini camps up, so it's not going to spawn for another minute yeah. until about when Lee Sin was able to clear it out himself. So um, he knows that he goes gets the red. Yeah, that is the advantage, too, of having the Blitzcrank pulled over the walls. Like, hey, you can just go ahead and leave those other two smaller lizards there. It's not a huge problem. There you go, Don getting ignited. Zion Spartan is in pursuit. Spears coming in. Heal the top off. Nice juke from that spear. Zion Spartan, he's going in. There you go. Quick kill. The ult will keep him there for a second. The turret will be enough. Oh, wow. Manages to still get it. The ignite finishing the job. Yeah, just really quick burst damage from Rumble. I thought that Zion was going to barely be able to make it out of there. Um, you know, maybe a little bit of his timing was off. Uh, just probably didn't need to transition back to the range form to try and get some damage. But he knew he didn't want to be running under the minions for a long time. Yep. Oh, oh Lee wow! Beating Oriana right there in the top river. The Q going down does a lot of damage. The ult forced to ping him back. But there you go. There is the flash over the wall. Mandatory Cloud is there as well. The poison damage will it be enough? There's the twin fangs. Poison damage so very low, but no, we'll be able to get out. But yeah, look at that, though. There's slightly too much movement speed. I, I'm surprised that Mandatory Cloud couldn't chase it down because when you hit the poison, you get a movement speed boost on Cassiopeia. So I thought he would have been fast enough to take it. Oriana just barely able to get out of there, but she does steal the blue. And then Lee Sin coming by, maybe try and get the gank off. But it's it's really tough to gank uh, this kind of a lane. And oh, Ezreal, oh, oh wow. wow. That was a little bit crazy with that shift. But Endline is still here, though. Not uh, Yeah, he did poke out of the bush. So Dynamic knows he's there. And, uh, you know, the cover's been blown. Lisa's just going to go ahead and back. And uh, Nintendo now checking, like, oh, realizing, hey, the blue is gone. Damn, they took it. Uh, Cassiopeia farming her own wraiths. A little bit extra farm. Going to go back by something nice there. Nice grab from Pixel down on the Muffin Cutie. Does have to get out of there. Nintendo in pursuit. But there's too much. W there's There's been too much uh, distance cleared from MTW. Yeah, and that's the issue. He, he did use his bl uh, flash, though, so that's a good yeah. thing. Um, but it's still pretty easily easy for Nunu to get out of there. Uh, if Nintendo wasn't there, he probably didn't need to use the flash. So oh, Nintendo actually walking right into Nunu though. He will back oh, off wow. for a second, but um, almost huge. able to take him down. Yeah. So I wish he had a ward there, because right there that uh, tri brush would be an amazing spot for a ward right now. Because leeson has been uh, he's been a little bit uh, he's been everywhere. He's been kind of traveling the map pretty fairly frequently gunblade uh revolver being not, not quite gunblade revolver being purchased on Cassiopeia gonna have a little bit of spell vamp returning back into mid oh but Lee Sin oh, finding Nintendo Nintendo getting caught out in the bush on the river true shot barrage getting a huge chunk out of zig and Lee Sin will be there for the follow-up and the kill Riven ult going down trying to get the kill on the Lee Sin, but there you go balls from a distance will have more than enough damage to finish off Riven meanwhile top lane Zion Spartan is also still doing with Don he is overheating. Paradoxical has a huge advantage, huge opportunity here to try and clean this up. There's the one to kill on Anunu, but balls. I think the pressure may be a little bit too much. Leeson with the kill onto <laughs> onto Blitzcrank, but there you go. Is an AP and AD duel. That's a lot of damage. Go for Paradoxical. Yes, the attack move will get a triple kill, but Mandatory Cloud is here. We be able to get it out in time. No, the poison. Will you get it this time? Yes, he's yes. got it. Shut down. Coming in from Mandatory Cloud. Yeah, but I mean, so nice turnaround from Dynamic. Um, you know, paradoxical being able to pick up a couple of kills there. Yeah. Uh, that was definitely huge for them. But you saw the Nunu Ezreal combo. Even though Blitz and Graves, they have a little bit of burst damage. Uh, Lee Sin came into the fight. He was kind of low. But Ezreal and Nunu are just so strong at dueling. Mm -hmm. Nunu can just shut down so much damage. And then with the Blood Boil, they're able to crush that fight. Mandatory Cloud just going to be taking the dragon by himself. He can do that pretty easily. Riven, no wards or anything. They're nowhere near. So he will be able to get that. 
Yep. So right now, uh, right now, most fed in the game credit does go to Ezreal. Balls is actually doing pretty well for himself, all things considered. Two, one, and three. You got the Phage. You got the Sheen. Looking for the Trinity, and that's going to be a lot of burst damage when that does eventually get finished. You got about uh, about a thousand gold left to go on that. You should have that bring him back with it to lane. Leeson once again going to be visiting bot lane, and where's the ward coverage? The ward coverage is seemingly stopped from Dynamic. Yeah. Like I'm still kind of surprised that we haven't seen more ganks from uh, Nintendo, because as Riven, that's one of the things uh, that Riven does very well, that he's been known to do very well, is really aggressive early ganks. And mm -hmm. he's had almost no pressure on any of these lanes. Um, he's shown up bot a couple of times, hasn't worked out. But um, I don't know, both mid and top lane, neither of them really pressured at all. Their ward in the side bush there on uh, Bot River does give vision on Nintendo and Paradoxical. Mandatory Cloud does want to say something about this, but Muffin Cutie does manage to get up in time with the Blood Boil. All that extra movement speed to assist if need be, but does decide. is like, hey, there's nothing more here. Going to return back to bot lane. Yeah, but yeah, Nintendo, he's not, he's not, put, he's not making plays, as they say. He's not really going to be anywhere. You know, Leeson's just been doing a significantly better job at that. And there you go, passing off the blue to Mandatory Cloud. Good guy. Riven's he's just, Nintendo's just sitting back and farming. Yeah, I mean, he will be very strong and very tanky as the game progresses. He will combo very well with Orianna. But if he's not snowballing early, then he, he's still going to have to deal with all that AoE damage yep. and CC he's walking into. Leeson is coming top. Just checking out things. They did see him. They are pinging him, so they recognize he's there. So Zion Spartan should oh. be safe from this tower Nintendo. dive, and Nintendo's coming up as well. Nintendo's coming up, but meanwhile, bot lane, there is the grab down on the balls. Zig is exhausted right now from Nunu. The Muffin Cutie, can he get it? Can he help out? There is the ult, and there you go. True Shot Barrage, AD for AD. Then it's a support fight. But then we just go back to that later. Meanwhile, we do have top lane. There's uh, Nidalee trying to deflect away Rumble. And it, Zion Spartan's been really kept at his own tower. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, Rumble's been able to be so successful in this lane. You know, he's been able to keep his health high, which is the big thing. Nidalee really hasn't been able to harass him down that much. And then in the 1v1 yeah. situations, it's pretty even. They both have, you know, similar damage output. Well, a lot of that credit, you did have the Ninja Tabby, you do have the Doran Shield on the Rumble. Plus, you have the Revolver, that's a lot of Spell Vamp, that's a lot of Sustain in top lane, he's not going to be needing the mana, so... Rumble's got a good set of items to ensure that he's staying top lane for quite some time. And there you go, you also got Zion Spartan looking to grab the Small Golems as well. Not too, not too uncommon for your top laner on purple side to go ahead and grab those every once, once and again. Paradoxical grabbing the blue, going to be returning to mid. Wave is pushing, and yeah, he's got to give credit to Zion Spartan, though. He's been here for quite a while. That Hex Drinker, the extra uh, magic resist, going to be helping out immensely. I, I more than uh, more than likely going to be upgraded into a Maw later on in this game. But then again, though, walking right in the middle of that Flame Spitter, that is quite a bit of damage. And also the Spear point blank range doesn't do too much damage, but still something. But there you go, in mid, there's the Oriana to keep Cassiopeia away. Little Paradox will be able to get away from this. Oh, but there Nintendo is in on Rumble, finally oh, getting up into go. this top lane. Top Zion lane. Spartan is pretty low, so... It's Don trying to get on Zion Spartan, but he is able to kite a little bit. And there he goes. There's he goes ult. down very quickly. Uh, there you go. Last slash. But Zion Spartan. Oh, in the meantime, low. Nunu chasing down Pixel gets off the slow and Balls has that fade. He's still chasing down. They do back off though. They are going to be safe. Yep. So. Oh, Cassiopeia oh, diving. There he shield. Nice on Paradoxical, looking for the attack move, but just just, just could not guess right, thinking where Cassiopeia was actually going to end up landing. But still, though, Lee Sin is here to help out in case uh, in case Paradoxical continues to go in. But Nintendo is here as well. They can definitely turn this around. But Pixel is here. Nice shield grab. Not getting anything. When is, uh, you know what? Is Dragon coming up soon, actually? They could time uh, this. I, yes, it is, actually. No, yeah. it's. I think it was like 11 minutes. So it should be a minute up. Yeah. Um, so it'll be up in like a minute. Nunu can chase out Graves a little bit. But Blitzcrank is here as well. But I, I still don't think that they duel very well with Nunu and Ezreal. So Pixel doesn't really want to hook anyone in. Just kind of wants to sit back, allow Graves yeah. to farm. Let's go ahead and just mutually sit in that bush. Have a good time. But here's the thing, though. Nintendo is coming down. But this bush, this tri-brush, is warded from MTW, so they know to back off. And Leeson and Cassiopeia may actually uh, start making their way down. Leeson's not too far away, but they go Nintendo going in, Muffin Beauty, True Shot Barrage getting a bunch of extra damage, but there you go, Zig does get the kill. Onto Nunu Pixel, can you get away from this? Leeson, he does get the kick, 
He does get the shield down, and there you go. Balls with the quick kill onto the Blitz. The kick from Nintendo not going to be able to keep him away for long. Zig in the bush trying to duck and weave, trying to escape vision. But Balls, he's camping out in that bush, waiting until it's safe because end line, he is full health. He can definitely do something here. Nintendo, can you close the gap? Yes, you can. And in the meantime, though, <laughs> Lee Sin does get the kill onto the graves. And now it is a jungle fight. Nintendo is very weak at the moment. Nice dash to evade the Q. Yeah, really nice job from Nintendo. I wasn't sure if he had the angle to get out of there, uh, but he is able to. Ezreal, as uh, we just saw there, he's been leveling, he's been maxing his W first. So uh, that comboed with the snowball from Nunu, they just have so much attack speed slow that they can easily win those fights. But even so, Dynamic able to pull it out, and a lot of it was Nintendo. He's finally, you know, kind of farmed to that point where he's comfortable with himself. Um, and looking to pick up some kills. We'll see if he ends up going with like a Brutalizer or something. At this point, it's a little bit too late to go with that build, but uh, it, it's still very strong. He actually goes str uh, for BF, so probably going into like a Bloodthirster. Holy, it's done. Getting kind of low. Zion Spartan getting some nice harass. Might It'll actually go in one. for this. There you go. Does get the flash. Does get in. Pounce right there. That is a dead rumble, but this time we still be able to get, get out. The turret shot is not chasing you. This time, leap over the wall. You should be fine. Yeah, so uh, he is able to get out of there. And so um, the big thing, Nintendo, we had seen in the past, uh, you know, rushing Brutalizer's always very nice. It's very strong and Riven when you're trying to get those early kills. But he kind of sat back. He was f comfortable with farming until the later game. At this point, you know, it's it's more efficient for him to get some big items. They can go for this dragon. Um, you know, don't want to allow Cassiopeia to get it, uh, but oh, ooh. Lee Sin. I think Nintendo's trying to bait something out here, but the rest of the team isn't with them. But, you know, Dar I got to mention, though, there's a lot. There is a lot of wards over by Dragon and Area from MTW. There's very little, very little yeah. ward coverage from Dynamic. And I think the part of the big thing is figuring out where Rumble oh, is right oh, now. Oh, oh. It's very sneaky. Lee Sin suspecting River being warded, which, by the way, it isn't. It actually does ward to the back of the Dragon Pit and start in there, but does get caught out by Pixel. Does have the he has the little Lee Sin highway. Yeah, he's got the, yeah, the, Lee, the Lee Sin expressway yeah. right there. That's his nice little own personal shortcut. Into the dragon and it pit. is nice. They have the entrances to the river warded, but not the dragon pit. So now they have the dragon pit warded because they recognize uh, Leeson. You know he can jump back and forth there. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll see how that kind of works. They did see Rumble was mid for a second, so they need to be kind of careful for a second. Dynamics going to sit back. They don't want to pressure this until they have vision there, and know if they can force a fight. Yeah, and with uh, you know this may this has the potential to be the first huge like for you know full five on five uh, fight of this of this game. And here's the thing, like the gold is starting to equalize. Dynamic is starting to catch up. It is now, you know, even in kills. So something could definitely happen. You could get a nice Blitzcrank grab to actually single someone out. And there, there, I think there might actually be enough damage on Dynamic to single someone out if need be. But there you go, the pings are going down. MTW has actually started the dragon, but it's just a matter of, you know, where's everybody at right now? Nidalee and Rumble are actually still top, so at best this could be a full four on four. But there you go, the damage coming in. Leeson will secure that dragon. Nintendo is caught out away from the rest of the team. And will he go down? Yes. There you go, Leeson grabbing that kill. And just, Nintendo was just a little bit too far out. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to uh, steal the dragon, actually, but oh, Mandatory ult. Cloud catches out Paradoxical. He will go down very quickly. Ugh. That was getting caught out. So yeah, that was getting... Nintendo, he was trying to steal. That was just a mistake, but um, Mandatory Cloud able to grab that blue. Yep. And part of the issue is that MTW, they have such great fight control as a team, even with just Cassiopeia. So, uh, you know, it's kind of tough. They will want to keep Zion Spartan in the top lane, so it's nice that he's able to start beating Rumble. He's two levels ahead at this point, because that's what you need from Nidalee. They need to control the lane and be able to split push and force someone to swing out, because Rumble versus Nidalee in a 5v5, Rumble wins that matchup. I mean, Rumble is just you know so much stronger as a team fighter, uh, generally speaking. Nidalee does have some strengths that you want Rumble in the fight. So what Nidalee wants to do is turn it into 4v4 situations. Now, Whoa. Riven does do very well in the 4v4s. Science Spartan trying to chase nice. him down. They do get out. Uh, Riven does do very well in the 4v4s because, uh, and same with thing with Orianna, because of how much utility they have and how strong they are in those disorganized fights. So towers going down tier one in mid and in bot. That is a huge chunk of change for MTW right now, extending their lead to about a 6K lead in gold at the moment. But uh, you do have, you gotta finish the rest of those lizards, dude. <laughs> I think he's just gonna leave them for balls to go ahead and clean on up. But still though, Zion Spartan only uh, making a guest appearance 
in mid just for a moment, continuing to farm. And I can imagine... Whoa! Huge wave. There you go. Uh, I can imagine... Zion Spartan looking to stay top lane as long as possible. This is yeah. this is a situation where we just want to try and keep Don behind as much as possible, but very soon, very soon, just the waves on their own will be naturally taking down that tower. It's, that thing's weak. That it's thing's also it's also keep Don out of fights. And yeah. so uh, Zion Spartan, he, he's done his job for the most part this game. Um, holy, it's Don. He has to go with the Will of the Ancients and then defensive items, the Dorans and also the Tabby. So that really, you know, makes him a little bit weaker in fights. It's going to be a big struggle for him. Uh, Zion Spartan can continue putting on that pressure. Riven actually coming top. They do uh, catch him. They have a ward by the blue, so they see him there. Mm -hmm. uh, Rumble will be, you know, pretty defensive here for a second, so he will be okay. Yep. Yeah, in terms of farm, you know, right now, you know, Rumble is second lowest in farm on the team, right just next to the uh, to the support. Yeah, but Nintendo Riven just saw the ward in, though. Into a trap though. Yeah, Could, but he's he yeah. saw the ward die, so he was like, ah, okay. So I just walked right past it. They know I'm here. Yeah. I'll back out of here because they're probably closing in on me. Uh, the grab not getting anything down bot lane, but yeah, the pressure top lane is just a bit too much. Nintendo is here, and he will help get the kill onto the tower, the tier one in top lane. Meanwhile, in bot, Muffy Kitty and Balls continuing to push a lot of damage actually going down on the pixel. Balls may actually want to just auto attack him to death here, but the minion wave the last has all died out. It's going to be a little, a little less of an opportunity there. Yeah, they crush Pixel there, and Zion Spartan actually transitioning into the mid lane. Uh, they might try and push down this tower. It might be difficult though, because Cassiopeia can clear waves very easily. Zion Spartan starting to move, make his way down bottom. Oh, Paradoxical, Paradoxical taking some damage. Yeah. He did, did he get hit? He did get hit with the poison. But uh, Oriana, she'll be able to walk. Oh, out but of Zion that one Spartan, clean. he's chasing down both Nunu and Ezreal. Ezreal there does get out of there, but Nunu is trapped. There you go. You got Ezreal. You got Nidalee, the spear. That's a huge chunk of damage on the balls, but he still manages to live. Muffy Q getting caught out a little bit, but there's a true shot barrage. A little bit of extra damage on most members of Dynamic. And uh, Nidalee just standing out in front, being a beast, trying to get as much damage, trying to poke MTW back. I'm really surprised they weren't able to take anyone down, but that's the survivability that Nunu has. Uh, he just throws on the blood boil, throws off a slow, gets out of there. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, and actually, wow. Graves just barely getting out of there. But Endline, can he get the Q? The flash from Zig just Very barely well getting done. out. Very well done from Zig. Very nice timing there, but uh, you had to because otherwise that would have been a slow, that would have been a terrible situation. But Endline, he's still pursuing this. He's, he's dropping hungry. wards all over the map just for mobility, basically. He is and hungry. Zig, there you oh, go. That time him. he's going to get the Q. He's going to get the slow. There is no flash available. There is the dragon kick right there into the close wall. He is stuck here for the moment, but here comes intended. Will the help be enough? Can Leeson get that Q? There is the shield. Nice from Oriana. Now I fear he's going a little bit too far, but does get the kill before being grabbed by Blitzcrank and the shutdown coming in from Oriana. Shift enter, all caps, worth it. <laughs> was yeah. it? It was. Oh, of course it was worth it. It was always worth well, it. Well, well, is it worth it for reasons other than you said so? No. Okay. <laughs> That's but why you get that established. Cassie, I mean, so, well, it, to, to an extent, so they have Ezreal up, Graves is down, so that's, I mean, that's always a nice trade to get rid of, um, you know, that kind of champion. They still have all of their main damage dealers. They can pressure Baron because Cassie P is so strong. They don't really want to right now because, as you can see, Mandatory Cloud getting very low on mana, so he needs that blue buff. He needs to be at full mana when they start. If he starts a fight at low mana, then that's just a recipe for disaster, um, so they can back off. But if they force a Baron, which they can kill very easily, then if uh, Dynamic tries to engage, Muffin Cutie can just throw off a new new ultimate and just completely zone their entire team. Yeah. Uh, and then Cassiopeia and Rumble will be very safe in the back to just control the fight. Or even then, Nunu can just go ahead and park his butt right there in that one bush. Because, you know, it has been fixed. He doesn't show the uh, doesn't show the ult bar when he does it in a bush anymore. There you go. Balls top lane with mandatory clouds. High and Spartan ready for the longest run of your life. You got four members of MTW on your tail, chasing you down. You're running further deep into enemy territory. Just trying to get away from this one. The tower area, there's a rumble ult. Rumble, oh, they're going to be able to get him just barely. Oh, the ultimate from Ezreal trying to keep up. Lee Sin's actually going to catch him off, though. There's finally the slow. He does go down. That took... A but they get time, but they get to mid tower and Graves, you know, is able to push down bottom pretty aggressively. Yeah. So some, sometimes the longest chase can actually be used by the rest of the team for a little bit of an advantage or some objective grabbing, and it's also just funny to watch. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> so yeah, granted, yeah, Nidalee did not get away from that one, but in response to this, could be a quick little Baron attempt. Try number two for MTW. Wow, it's 
Wow. It's a little bit slower than I expected, and they do see them heading over there. Ezreal is not with the team, so it is going to be a 3v4. Blitzcrank could get the pull, but the Baron is dropping incredibly quickly. It's at about a third HP. Nintendo, Nintendo coming in. The hook on Nunu, and Nintendo comes no, in. He, he steals, steals it, it. and then they're all steals. in front of him. He steals the bear. He's got all three. He got three members of MTW right there in front of you. Balls actually does get the kill on Paradoxical. Nintendo very low. Also falls and Blitzcrank falls. Well, they got the Baron. They yep. all died in the process, but they got the Baron. So it's going to delay MTW quite a bit. But this is giving them an opportunity to go ahead. They should be able to get the tier two, maybe even the tier three on this push here. Uh, Zion Spartan and Zig, they can only do so much. If one of them gets caught out, they could for sure die. I, I think they're going to lose an inhibitor here. They this may, is probably yeah. going to be an inhibitor. Yeah, so there you go. There's still only two members of Dynamic who can just go ahead and try and block this. There is the creep wave coming up. There should be more than enough time. There you go. There's a Rumble all looking to just clear the wave. Tier 3 going to be going down very quick. And I think you may be right. This could be an inhib, but right now, MTW, they're going to play it safe. They're going to back off. Leave the inhibitor up. They can grab uh, Dynamics Blue here. This should be pretty pretty easy take. Dynamics not going to get here in time. Yeah, it's it's just really tough. Uh, MTW just has such great team fighting potential. They oh, can take this dragon, but they do have to watch out because Dynamic is right in pursuit. Zion Spartan won't let them get out of there. He's going to continue that chase, actually. Uh, no, so they back off. There you go. They're not going to continue it at all. So Dynamic gets the dragon. You know, they can stall for a while with that Baron. That's pretty nice, but it, it's still going to be difficult to face off against MTW. Yeah, so there's... Granted, you know, if MTW did get... Oh, Zion Spartan getting caught right there with that face check, but Nintendo trying to make the best out of this situation. Does get into the middle of the fight, a little bit extra damage. Mandatory Cloud is split from the rest of the team, and Paradoxical throwing down the orb to get a little bit of vision, but Cassiopeia is split from everybody, but I'm pretty sure they have no idea she's in that bush. Yeah, that could have so been. That could have been. That could have been disastrous. That well, really that's the been. big thing is dynamic. They know that a lot of their champions are very strong in one v one situations at this point. So they want to pick people off. They have great burst potential. They have a lot of mobility. So if they can grab people in the jungle, you know that's a good win situation for them. Um, Zion Spartan, he is going to be going in the top lane. Graves in the bottom lane. They want to push out all the lanes to try and stall MTW a little bit. But they're going to immediate, immediately need to get back mid because MTW is going to be coming right down this mid lane. Yep. Uh, Baron should also be back around the 34 minute mark. So, but uh, there's a good, there's a good little chunk of change. There's a good little amount of time that MTW can actually go ahead and use this to their advantage. There is Nidalee in top. There's Graves that did just back. So I think there could be an inhibitor sneak. Lee Sin does get pulled. He is going to be relatively safe though, and Nidalee is not with the team. This is a 4v5. MTW, they do have the damage. But they're just going to go ahead, they're going to play it safe, they're going to pressure the wave as much as they can. Nidalee has now rejoined with the rest of the team, Zion Spartan is here. Balls leading the charger is the Orianna Orb, trying to make something happen on anybody. The ult is still up, the, the setup could happen. Nice Blitzcrank grab, could start getting, uh, making a little bit of chaos here. Oh, this, this is It's this It's is just risky. tough for Dynamic right now because MTW honestly has kind of a superior team comp. So, yeah. um, you know, it's a really strong team fighting comp and they don't have a means of disrupting their damage because Cassiopeia has the rest of her team to, you know, oh. pull diversions for. Ezreal is just so safe. The hook almost going yeah, down, but almost mandatory, mandatory Cloud is okay. But it's just, they're so safe. Oh, oh the ult back. In. Mandatory Cloud is out in front. The, uh, not quite sure what happened with that ult, but Zion Spartan does go down really quick. There is Pixel as well. Paradoxical is getting caught out by Rumble, but meanwhile, Nintendo and Zig are being caught out as well. Double kill for Ezreal. Rumble does yeah. get the Orianna kill. That is four for Cass three. Cassiopeia, she knew that, all right, if someone's going to follow up, then I have to be quick. If yeah. uh, if there's a, like a flash and in from someone, it. doesn't matter. So throwing off the ultimate and then quick flashing away. So it, it was just a blind ult. She was like, okay, if someone's going to flash at me, I need to get them quickly and get out of there. It was a defensive maneuver. She knew that her fight was going, or her team was going to win the fight regardless. And so even though Cassiopeia wasn't in it, it was kind of like a 4v5 situation. That, uh, MTW was able to crush that fight. So game number one um, game going number down. Two. Game number two. Oh, that's right. 2-0. Yeah. MTW. They've made it through. Yeah, we're so done. dynamic. We're done. Hey. Um, no, it's winner's <laughs> finals. So we still right. have the loser's, loser's finals. We still have the grand finals of these qualifiers. But MTW 2-0 against dynamic. Really nice job. So, yep. MTW is moving on to grand finals. Dynamic will be sticking We'll give them some applause. Could you, it, it's, you know, that's the thing. Oh, I mean... I, I'm trying to say this in the best way possible, but it's good to see MTW doing pretty well. It's, it's, not, it's not something... What's a bad way of saying well, that? Well, they haven't... It's, 
Oh, you mean as opposed to in the past? You were yeah. like, you were like, I want to say this in a way that I, I was the way I was hearing it is like, I want to say this in a way that's not going to hurt MTW's feelings. But you played well. I'm like, what? Why would they care if you're going to be like they played well? That's not a negative in, thing in at term, all. In but, terms of their previous right. Well, yeah. I, I mean, you know, they it is what it is. They know what right. it is. So I don't know. Nice job from uh, MTW. It, it is really cool to see them playing well. So, no offense. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so uh, right now, though, Dynamic, yeah. with that loss, they do get moved down the lowers bracket. They're not the uh, loser's bracket. They're not out yet. Coming up next, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Then we'll come back. Team Dynamic versus Curse. Winner goes up to face MTW. We could see a uh, Dynamic rematch. We could see Curse moving on up. So yeah. we'll stick around. This may be a little bit of a and longer this break is, than usual. This is going to be a big test for Curse, I think. Oh, because yes. Dynamic is one of the teams that they've struggled against. You know, let's face it, they've struggled against a number of teams, but they're looking really strong right now and mm. starting to practice get together as a team. One of the issues with Curse for a long time was their practice regimen. So uh, things are looking up. We'll see how they can pull it out. You know, they know the kind of teams that um, their strategies that Dynamic pulls out. They know you know how they want to deal with them. So it's just whether or not they can execute. Yep. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Could be a little bit of a longer break than usual while we get this game set up. But coming on up soon. Losers Finals Dynamic versus Curse IPL Faceoff Qualifiers. We'll be right back. 